Empire Second Case Study Conducted at Bukit Batok Area Welcome to our another case study video that we have conducted at Bukit Batok Area. Before we proceed, we would like to say that we pride ourselves to be able to offer a solution to effectively deal with the current dengue Zika menace that is gripping our nation. Having introduced our Ultron device in our previous story, we find it necessary to sustain our momentum and embark on yet another study with the following aims. The aim of this case study is to promote greater awareness of our Ultron device, to expand collaborations with meaningful stakeholders, to focus our resources and sharing of our expertise and experience, to reach out to other town councils and winning the war against dengue. We begin with chart 1 to present an inside story. The chart 1 refers to NEA's high-risk area for dengue cluster named ID 21000727. To avoid confusion and by NEA's definition, Dengue Cluster ID 21000727 is said to encompass among others to include The first location is the areas under Empire's Ultron Device Guard and Patrol at Bukit Batok Street 52 for HDB blocks from 501 to 511. The second location is the areas that are not under the purview of Empire, namely a high housing density of HDB flats along Bukit Batok Avenue 3, 4 and 5 as well as private condominiums Regent Heights and Hillview Regency to defend Empire's turf as marked as NW in the satellite image our Ultron devices are installed at block 513 on 28th July and at block 504 on 29th July 2020 located at Bukit Batok Street 52 now let's take a look on our findings and observations Said cluster depicts a relentless spike in dengue cases since start of cluster taken at 28th of July 2020. Between the timeline of 28th July and 3rd September, a 56% spike in cases are reported and which increases 27 new cases in the community. A definite, air of great anxiety, fear and concern not only to the general populace, but also to the authority, town councils and other stakeholders. The spike in new dengue cases worries Empire too because of the shared border with West Coast GRC. This has been one of the measures Empire saw it fit to deploy Eltron devices at Block 504 and Block 513, which is close to the shared border. In this instance, Empire would like to distance itself from the new dengue cases are found as shown in the chart too. Further dissection of cluster ID 21000727 has led Empire to extract the following findings. A. The female Aedes would have initially infiltrated, or breached shared border, guarded by Ultron devices, at Block 504, and 513 areas. The eggs laid by the female Aedes will not survive given the capability of Ultron device. B. Even when the female Aedes continue to lay her eggs, within the 150 meter range of Block 504 and 513, no eggs would have survived because the female Aedes would have themselves contaminated with the Dr. K solution. C. This finding serves to protect the integrity of Empire's Ultron devices given that no new dengue cases was reported by NEA amongst the area under Empire's protection. D. From analyzing the new dengue cases recorded by NEA, a very different scenario emerged. The distinction is clear for areas that are protected by Empire's Ultron device, and in areas that are not. Satellite image 1, illustrates the clearly marked shared border of Bukit Batok and West Coast area. Also it shows the new dengue cases corresponding to the blocks marked in red. The new dengue cases in NEA's report, are dotted red and are clearly found in the SC sector, under West Coast GRC which is not an area guarded, by Ultron device. Now let's see, where are these cases found? Female Aedes from the blocks in chart 2, have contributed to the spike. Their flight range may not reach the lore of Empire's Ultron devices, placed at Bukit Batok Street 52 Block 504, as well as at Block 513. Even if they manage to, the contaminated Aedes with Dr. K solution will eventually perish along with its eggs destroyed. We see zero new cases, in Empire's guarded sector NW, and only the yellow dotted cases, since start of cluster remains in NW. Therefore, it is safe to deduce that the source of new dengue cases, is emerging from SC areas, where no Empire's Ultron device are called to deploy it yet. Finally, let's see why no cases found in NW side? There are effectively two reasons. A. Empire's Ultron device works on a 24 by 7 protection regime for NW area. B. 
the absence of Empire's Ultron device in SE areas, says a lot about the works of Ultron devices. We believe conventional methods like fogging or aerial washing used by West Coast GRC are deemed to be less superior to Ultron devices in NW areas. Is Empire winning the battle waged in Bukate Batok, shaded purplish area? Empire offers an idea of battleground above. Empire's Ultron forces deployed to Bukate Batok. Sea shaded purplish area above is part of Choa Chua Kang Town Council. Has been doing a respectable job in curbing dengue cases, to state our claim. Let us describe the pictorial battle mission ground shown in satellite image 2. Starting from the shared border, drawn across with a white strip dotted with blue markers divides the zones into NW and SC. To the northwest of these blue marker shaded area in purplish, is mission ground protected, by Empire Ultron forces. Diagonally across from top left block 415 down to block 504, are strategic positions of four Ultron devices marked in red, each placed at the Block number 415, 370, 513 and 504. To the south, is the part of West Coast GRC. Hence, as per our aims of this study described before, there are some worthy takeaways, that we wish the West Coast Town Council can identify with, and consider using Empire's Ultron devices, to fight the forces of Dengue concertedly. The worthy takeaways from this study are, Empire consciously seeks to having more meaningful collaborations, with neighboring town councils using Ultron devices, as the primary weapon to combat Dengue menace. Provides a 24 by 7 regime to combat and curb Dengue. Helps to prevent, or reduce Dengue Zika on a national level, if used widely. Lessen unnecessary sufferings, and possible loss of lives amongst the populace. That's all for this video and thank you for watching.